The Winnipeg Folk Festival opened with a different sound this week. In the last few years, the festival has been threatened by dwindling audiences and lost revenues. But as Gloria Lowen reports, this year, the Winnipeg Folk Festival is trying to stage a comeback. Throughout the 70s, the Winnipeg Folk Festival had little trouble attracting large crowds. Flower children of the 60s came in droves from across Canada to a park just outside of Winnipeg for four days filled with their kind of music. The festival was a huge success. But in the early 80s, a combination of bad weather and declining attendance took its toll. By 1986, the festival was $140,000 in the red and it had recorded its lowest attendance ever. The Winnipeg Folk Festival was dying and the new artistic director knew it. The survival of the festival depends on a younger audience. Goldstein set out to accomplish that by departing from the tradition of featuring only Canadian talent on opening night. Headlining this year's festival is Ladysmith Black Mambazo. The 10-man a cappella group from South Africa is better known as the sound behind Paul Simon on his highly successful Graceland album. A wide cross-section of music is still a cornerstone of the festival. The Toronto group Canadian Aces sing 30 and 40s swing jazz. And a big hit in Europe, the Barrett sisters belt out gospel. This year's audience will also see Marie McLaughlin and Donovan. And making her first ever appearance at the festival tomorrow, Maria Muldaur. Big name entertainers and music that appeals to a younger crowd may just be what saves the festival. More than 5,000 people attended opening night. That's the largest opening night audience in the festival's history. Gloria Lowen, CBC News, Winnipeg.